Works spanning a century from over 41 different artists, the exhibition showcases the DRC's musical and cultural heritage as well as its complex and sometimes violent political history. The brainchild of curator Andre McNeen, the exhibition has been in the making for decades, with McNeen making multiple trips to the DRC for years, cultivating relationships and promoting some of the artists featured at the exhibition. Organizers believe Biot Congo offers a different image of the country. Liana Sankrom is the exhibition's associate curator. The Congo may have this turbulent history, but there is also an extremely rich artistic history and varied and colorful and gay, and that's why we also gave the exhibition that title Congo Kitoko, which means Congo beauty, because we wanted to show the beauty of this country. The pieces in the exhibition cut across different genres. There are comic books and photography collections, as well as collage and oil paintings. Visitors are treated to a series of artworks that reflect life in the Congo, from the sepia movements, bars filled with music and dancing, photographs portraying King Shasa through water puddles showcasing its often chaotic and polluted streets, to a display of Congo's popular comic books of the 1990s. Some of the collections are also accompanied by the beat of popular Congolese music, reminding visitors of the central role music plays in Congolese culture. Many themes are addressed, such as love. There is also a lot of generosity and it's very intimate as well, because it touches a life, a society, women, men and children. They are all well represented. Many of the works displayed here have never been exhibited internationally but were borrowed from private collectors from Belgium and France while others were dug out from colonial archives in Brussels and a few brought from Kinshasa from some of the artists. Many of those visiting the gallery said they were surprised to discover such a wide variety of themes in one exhibition. It's an honor because it shows there is talent everywhere, whether be it in Europe, Africa, I think it's good to highlight the Congo. This exhibition, I find it beautiful. It's a great discovery, of course, because we very rarely have the opportunity to see an exhibition in African countries. The exhibition has received positive reviews, although some critics have accused the curator of neocolonialism, adding that it shouldn't take the West to showcase African art. The Cartier Foundation will run the Beat Congo exhibition until November the 15th. And that's a really nice reminder of uh, the fact that although we're immersed in the challenges uh, from day to day, we mustn't forget to open our eyes to the things that we can celebrate. And we do look forward to a big celebration here in South Africa coming from the Cradle of Humankind.